Hello again, everybody. This is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout, and thank you for tuning in to this installment of the Autism Hangout feature program series, Apps for Autism. With me today is another incredibly creative iPad, iPhone, iTouch app developer with an educational program that's easy to use and just plain fun. And people that are working with our special kids are noticing its positive effects. So Autism Hangout, please welcome the developer of Faces I Make, Ale. Ale, welcome to Autism Hangout. Thank you, Greg. All How right, now you? I've got to praise you uh, a, a few moments here before we get into this because I've, I've looked at your website, I've read a couple of the reviews of your product, and one of the things that I wanted to mention at Faces I Make is all about stimulating the right brain and giving kids a fun and playful educational environment. The app encourages kids to solve problems creatively, to innovate, and to see things from a different perspective. And then there's Daniel Pink, the New York, New York Times best-selling author of A Whole New Brain. He is recommending your product. He says it's fun and addicting, and you can't, and you can't, if you can, get it away from your kids. So this is great. I would like to ask a little bit of your story as to how you got into making apps for kids with, with special needs like autism. Okay, so, um... Hi, my name is Eyal, as you said. I'm in Israel at the moment. Uh, I'm the founder of Imagine Machine. Mm -hmm. Imagine Machine is uh, based in Israel and in New York because we recently moved back, so we have office also in New York. Um, basically, I came up with that because my two girls are going to something called Democratic School. They're eight and four, and it's all about finding authentic voice. Mm -hmm. It's about who you are in this crazy world, which you know bombards you with noise yeah. of how to be and who you are and how things need to be done. And I start thinking, how can I give creativity, stimulation of the right brain, the ability to give kids a way to express themselves in a way that's not going to compile them, you know, to draw within the lines and the circle needs to be in a certain size. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you don't do it this way or that way. And then I start, you know, looking around, and I thought of this guy that I love. Uh, his name is Hanoch Piven. Okay. He's an Israeli artist that is based in Barcelona. He's world known, he's, has exhibits all over the world, he's done covers of the most important magazines. Uh, and, but what I like the most about him is that he is authentic. Mm -hmm. He's saying, this is who I am. Uh, every month he comes to Israel or any part in the world and volunteers with kids about taking their creativity and looking at a tomato, for example, saying, hey, okay, this is a tomato, but it's not. It can be a face, it can be a nose, anything you want. So we met. It was all like very karma-wise. We came up with faces I make. It was developed for your two neurotypical kids to help them see outside the box. And as yeah. many people already know, our kids with autism definitely see outside the box to begin with. That's, that's so, right. And that's why when I took the app, I thought, okay, who can enjoy that? Mm -hmm. Because it's great to have all these great reviews, but at the end of the day, all our app developers, publishers, we forgot something. The most important people who use educational apps are kids, yeah. not us adults as the barrier. Mm -hmm. And then I came to this, you know, to... Um, this woman, her name is Shannon, and uh, Shannon has an autistic child, Liam. And I said, hey, why don't you give it a try? And then she tweeted me, and she said, Liam doesn't respond. And then an hour later, she tweeted, he's walking around and came back to me with a face. And then an hour later, he came back with our song, because we have a very catchy song mm -hmm. that we did. Mm -hmm. And then from that day, he did like 300 faces. Um, it's an IC response from a lot of autistic special need kids. Um, it just gives you the ability to create with one thing, two things, and you have a face, and you have an expression, you're happy, you're sad, who you are. Instead of just, you know, writing, I go to the park, put a toy, right. and, and, you know, and a smile. Yeah. And, and kids are expressing those, and not just kids, you know, adults also. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, at your website, you've got wonderful demos as to how this works, but we've got the opportunity today to actually show what the next generation of this product looks like. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, here's the iPad, and Excellent. the two Democratic girls, and <laughs> Emma and Leah, and uh, at the end of the day, that's what I do the most, I'm a dad. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Faces I Make come with two versions, light and a premium. 
This is the premium version. The light and the premium, the main difference is we added features to the premium, but the light is a lot of fun. You want to move forward, just buy the premium. But I'll fix you the premium because it has more things. Uh, okay. Uh, it starts like this. Sort of a white canvas, but a face. Okay. You know, because, and then you can do, you have a camera button, on the iPad, you can use a camera, you can use the library, put a picture of your child or yourself and draw on it. You can change the color. Everything is responsive with one touch. This, but I have to admit that this um, uh, application is not designed for the iPad. Mm -hmm. It's for the iPhone, so you know, we double the size, but iPad version is in development, but still it's very much fun to play on it. You have the head shapes. You can choose colored one, or you can choose without a head. Okay whatever you want. But let's just do something, for example. Okay? okay, we took a head. And you can choose from different categories. Let's say we took food. I took tomato. I put it here. Another, I'll take an orange. I'll put it here. A pepper, put it here, and then I can turn it around. And at the moment, here, you have a face. Right. That's it. That's it. You know, you don't need to draw. You don't need to say it doesn't look like something. It looks like whatever you want. And because people want to do more and more creative stuff, we put this button here that says gallery. You have your own stuff, but also inspiration gallery. And this is stuff that's been done by Hanov. You see Mark Simpson and Michael Jackson and, you know, the husband and, you know, that's what? Obama. Elections <laughs> is here. Gosh, uh, these are so... How can, be, how can you be creative with letters? Look, this is only letters. It's nothing here. And, and you know, doesn't have to be a face. It can be your favorite pet. It can be a body you saw. Of course, I want to show you something that's very artistic, as you can see, but here's Mrs. Mona Lisa from eggplants and potatoes. Now, we don't expect everybody to be that creative, but what you can do is you can take this and you click edit and then suddenly you can edit the Mona Lisa and do whatever you want on it. Oh my. Now this is just artistic, but it's not just artistic, you know, it's it's more creative because you can take it every day and just say, okay, you know, how are you feeling today? You know, what do you want to be? And the child can do it and you can explore it together, you know, not just give it the iPhone, the iPad as a pacifier, mm -hmm. do it with them. Mm -hmm. That's something we encourage, you know, playing together. It doesn't have to be around, you know, Monopoly. It can be around the iPad. I'm trying to donate around 1,500 copies of faces I make to educational system that needs another creativity tool. Oh my, that's because, huge. So, you know, I'm trying to, if someone wants to raise the glove, I'm trying, I'm talking to different schools. I'm coming to America this month. But, it, you know, we can do it through the emails, but I want to give it because it's a great opportunity to explore. Okay, so folks here at Autism Hangout, I know a large percent of the audience is teachers and educators. Uh, if you write to AL, you can have an opportunity to get to the uh, Faces I Make app for free just to test it out with your kids on the spectrum. AL, let's use this opportunity right now. How can people get in touch with you? What's your website and what's your email address? The website is Imagine Machine, in one word. And dot com. Okay. And my email is e y a l at imaginemachine dot com. Or if it's too complicated, my name, then you can just do support at imaginemachine dot com. Okay. At your website, I know you have lots of testimonials. And folks at Autism Hangout, what I'd like to encourage you to do, if you do get a trial copy of AL's program, I would appreciate it if you would write me and perhaps I can interview you about the application and what you're doing with it in your location. So if I might just say, Craig, sure. something, um, they can try the free, for free. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a live version. Mm -hmm. But I would like to donate the premium because it's going to give much more abilities as a, as you know as a teacher to do with with a child or with your child to experience mm -hmm. and also you can go to our facebook we have thousand members almost thousand members on our facebook group facebook.com slash faces i make mm -hmm. i do these things because i love what i do you and can't I do it otherwise you know you wake up every morning and just think of new ideas and part of it is commercial but part of it major part of it is 
that's my outlet to the world, you know? Well, it's you're also, I, I commend you because in, in your generosity in helping the kids that need help the most, you were doing the right thing. And as an old right. hippie, I, I just love to be able to bring your message to people because that will indeed not only help the kids, it will help you as a business person. Of course. Al, I want to thank you for coming on today and telling folks about your product. Thank you for the platform and for the opportunity. And thank you, Autism Hangout. I'll be back again soon with another app for autism.